Yeah, guys, 4.8k to 5.2k fireball damage. That totally isn't overpowered for Midnightmare at all. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Nostalgia here, and we're back with some more Farming Socket quests. Um, since last time, I got through the rest of Act 3, and I also did some leveling. And you can see I found the way down to Durance 3 off camera, just because I found this before I found the waypoint. Oh, look at that unique drop from a chest right there, that's kind of kind of funny. Even if I was an Amazon, that's probably... I probably wouldn't pick that ad up anyway, because I have better items. Oh, let me go over my gear, by the way. And also the Merc's gear. The weapon is still the same. Um, I... I'm not sure that he could use an Elite Insight for a little while yet. Although, I'll look into that soon. I got a Vamp Gaze on him, as well as Dariel Shell. So, pretty decent stuff. Neither of these are F, though. Although, actually, I might change that for next episode, because I'm pretty sure I do have F versions of these just sitting around in my shared stash. On the uh, main Sorks gear, the, uh, I'm not sure exactly what changed here, but probably the main change is that I'm using a Spirit, which means that I hit the 105, FCR breakpoint much more easily. You can see I'm at 109 here. And the two skills offer quite a lot of damage. I mean, kind of the main change with the gear this time was just sort of focused on damage. We got a lot more mana this time. I'm using two mana rings. Just so that I can teleport around for much longer without having to stop and take more mana potions and have to worry about that more. I'm using Alder's Boots. I'm using Gloomstrap, again, pr really just for the vitality, the max mana, and regen mana. And also I'm using a fire skills Zami, and a uh, fire skills circlet. So with all that gear, I hit 4.8k to 52 fireball damage, and yeah, this is a little overpowered for me in Nightmare, as I'm pretty sure you guys are going to see, so let's just, let's just see how, <laughs> how that pans out. Where's the council? Whoa! Okay, apparently I'm not as strong defensively as I am offensively. <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna do damage to me that quickly. And yeah, I'm still using fire, um, kind of just because, I mean, for the most part, kind of just because that's what I have good gear for, to some extent. I mean, maybe I should still be using Blizzard. I mean, I do have, like, cold equivalents. I do have, like, cold equivalents of these two gear pieces, like I have a three cold skills circlet and a three cold skills ammy, but... I don't want to get my gear for my cold sort mixed up between characters, kind of because I was thinking of redoing the Traffic Call video pretty soon, and just because my main sort is kind of intended mainly as a cold sort. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably change this sort to uh, fire and cold eventually anyway, pretty soon in fact. And actually, I just dropped this. Is this worth anything? Yeah, no, that's garbage. And, oh yeah, I, I forgot to use this. I have a uh, frozen armor orb on Switch. And I could even, like, switch my spirit onto my Switch and, and get a better frozen armor that way. So let's just go in Act 4 a little bit here. So I did the leveling off screen by uh, farming, what's her name, Battlemaid Sariana in... Uh, it was one of those little dungeons in the Cross Bazaar. And I got, like, almost a level per run. <laughs> so that didn't really take too long, to be honest. 
So apparently the theme of today... Jeez, I need more hit recovery. Apparently the theme of today is glass cannon. <laughs> As you saw when I tried to kill Brem Sparkfist, I did not think he would do that much damage. Maybe Aussie will save me here. Um, if Ubeo is right that Aussie saves lives, then uh, yeah, maybe that, that'll happen for me here. I mean, probably the main dangerous thing right now for my character is that I don't have a lot of hit recovery, I don't think. Although, actually, I do get a fair bit from Spirit. So maybe I should just get a... Oh, these guys are fire immune already. Why? I didn't think we'd have fire immune enemies. Okay. Um. I didn't think there were uh, immunities already. Apparently, they have inherent immunities now. Okay, then. I guess I am respecting the cold already. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, guys. I totally didn't remember that these guys can be fire immune already. Now, I know they can't be cold immune, at least as far as I'm aware, until late Act 5. So, at that point, I'll be respecting into a meteor orb setup. But yeah, I, I changed a lot of my gear around. I'm running a cold build now. Be Seriously, guys, I had no idea they could be firing me in this early. But here, let me just show you the uh, new gear. The Merc's gear is the same, of course, but now I'm running uh, Trank's Claws because the uh, one to fire skills isn't really going to do anything for me now with this uh, setup. I'm running a Snow Clash, a uh, Glacial Circlet, and uh, this amazing magic amulet right here, Glacial Amulet of the Whale. I think this is what I, this is the amulet I use to get most of my declone kills, to be honest. It's pretty amazing. I don't know where I found it, but kind of because it was too long ago for me to remember. But uh, yeah, we can crush guys pretty easily now, <laughs> to be honest. And I am picking up the Flawless Gems because... I'll probably make, uh, well, I'm planning on making a video about re-rolling Grand Charms, most likely, anyway, pretty soon. And maybe, like, some more other kinds of crafting videos, like another Blood Crafting, or a Blood Glove Crafting video, that sort of thing. But, yeah, we can smoke these guys pretty easily now, so that's cool. It is only P1, so there is that, too. Oh yeah, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to find Izzy. So maybe I'll get back to you guys when I find Izzy. Unless I find him really quickly. But that did not happen last time. And maybe it will this time. Let's just see here. And I've been farming on my Pit Circer a lot lately. And something pretty cool, I if I caught the find on recording, I, w I think I would have made a video about this. But I found a Death's Web on my Pit Circer. Uh, what was it? Yesterday, I think it was. I don't know why. <laughs> my memory is so bad sometimes. But yeah, I found a Death's Web on my Pit Circer, which is pretty cool. Okay, wait a sec. How have we not found Izzy yet? <laughs> you guys are seeing this, right? Explored like the whole plains of despair. Oh, there he is. Did I run past him? <laughs> Maybe I ran past him. I don't know. Ah, whatever. Yeah, and see, my understanding, uh, the thing is, is my understanding is that Izzy has, like, the same amount of hit points, pretty much, as Diablo. So, since we took out Izzy that fast, that means that we should be able to just smoke Diablo, too. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, what would you expect with the playing with this ridiculous, overpowered gear on Players 1 in Nightmare, to be honest? I mean, this gear, honestly, isn't even that bad for hell difficulty, to be honest. 
It's just like for for nightmare though. It's just completely overpowered. Like you could, I don't even know if you could have found. I don't even know if you could have found this gear in nightmare at this point. I don't know. Honestly, actually, yeah, you couldn't have because of the monarch. You wouldn't. Have, monarchs only drop in hell. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it is really overpowered for nightmare. Confirmed. <laughs> I forgot about that, and at least I'm pretty sure, someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on this, I'm pretty sure Monarchs only drop in hell. So, I think I'll just find the, uh, River of Flame, or not River of Flame, the, uh, City of the Damned Waypoint, and we can just call it there. And next episode, we can just pick it up at the end of Act 4, probably at the River of Flame Waypoint, and we can have fun in, uh, Nightmare Chaos. And I haven't had a lot of time to make videos lately, but, see, I found that death sweat, <laughs> but I only had time to farm for, like, 30 minutes, and I need, like, an hour and a half at least to make a video. So, sometimes, like, I won't have enough time to make a video, so I'll just farm for a little bit when I have a little bit of free time. Because, I mean, what I could do is I could just make a video over the course of, like, three days... But, I don't know. I, I want it sort of the content all fresh in my head when I'm reviewing it and editing and that sort of thing. So, I don't know. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.